Well, hey, everybody, it's Mark Shepard, Mayor of Clearfield City, along with two of my fellow mayors, Mayor Joy Petro from Layton and Katie Witt from Kaysville. We're here at the Legacy Center in Farmington at the new vaccination clinic. And this is, again, it's one of a kind, uh, probably not only in the state of Utah, but throughout the country, probably the slickest vaccination clinic you're going to see. It is a drive-through vaccination. We wanted to get together today and just really tell you about this place and how easy it is to go through here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you know, I think that one of the benefits of doing it this way is you don't even have to get out of your car. It's awesome. And I, I think that Davis County really streamlined this process uh, over the election and people doing in-person mm -hmm. elections, so that really paved the way for this. And I can attest to it firsthand. I had an opportunity to bring one of my uh, friends down here who is in that 70 plus range, which I know that all of us are very much concerned. They're, I wasn't here more than 25 minutes. I mean, they just really have it dialed in and they have a nice waiting area to make sure that there's no reaction to the shot. But I got to tell you, it was slick. Yeah, and the process is easy. I mean, you drive in now, when you get down here, it's confusing. Everyone thinks they're just going to go to the front of the Legacy Center and pull in. Make sure you pull in off of Clark Lane. It's right behind the jail. You'll go down the street through the back side of the, uh, of the fairgrounds and around and in. They'll check you in. Make sure that you've got your letter saying you're okay to come in and, and get vaccinated. Check you off the list and send you on, on inside and you're, you're driving through. Yeah, it's, it's easy. I got to tell you, I'm impressed. And uh, when the day comes for me to come through, I'm looking forward to it. Yep, absolutely. And uh, so anybody who is available to get their shots now, we do have a lot of uh, appointments available through the month of February. So get online or make the phone call and make your appointment as soon as you can. Yeah, with as many people as we need to have vaccinated, we shouldn't have waiting er you know, times. There shouldn't be anything open right now. Yeah. We you all should be in line. We've got Brian Hatcher. I'm going to ask Brian Hatch. He's the, the head of the health yes. department for Davis come County. On, Brian. We're going to ask Brian to come yeah, in here for in, just a minute. Why should they come get vaccinated? Well, uh, our goal is to return back to normal. Um, and one of the tools we have uh, that's most effective is vaccination. Um, we want to get rid of the mass. We want to get the <laughs> distancing out. And to do that, we need to vaccinate the population. There's a lot of people that are scared about this. Um, I don't want to go get vaccinated because it's, you know, I, I, I might get the, 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 uh, the virus now or I'm going to get really ill. I've heard people have bad reactions to this, grow third toes or, you know, <laughs> 11th toes or, you know, horns or something. Is, is that real? I have not seen any toes, third toes or horns. <laughs> However, with any vaccination, there are a, a percent of our population that do have uh, some reactions. They're from mild to sometimes severe. Uh, most of what we're seeing is very mild. You get a sore arm, you might have a little bit of fever or discomfort, some achiness uh, for a day, um, and then it goes away. Yeah, but this is like a get out of jail free card. <laughs> That's how I look at it. I'm like, I so want to travel, but until I can prove that I'm not going to get anybody sick, uh, I, I don't feel good about traveling. So to me, this is like, the get out of jail free card. It is. It's it is. A, a, a huge step towards back to our normal, uh, that normal that we're all seeking. And you mentioned earlier, um, you know, about the appointments. Right now, that 70 plus population, you know, those are the ones that are experiencing the most severe disease, hospitalization. We have appointments available for them. We really want to get them in so that we can move on to the next. Uh, the next populations that will be prioritized. Yeah, I think they're here in the news, and and the, uh, if you if you go down to Utah County and they're, they're saying, oh my gosh, they're lined up. You can't. You, you get online and they just immediately send you no. You can't get in now, and it's already full. We're not that way up here. Mm -mm. Come get your appointment. Come down. Get vaccinated, people. We need to get to this herd immunity kind of a mentality and get everybody as quickly as we possibly can. The president wants everyone vaccinated soon. They're doing everything they can to shoot more vaccinations down to us. Take advantage of it when it's your turn and make sure you come down. It's not that bad of a process. Well, and isn't it true, the more vaccinations that we can get out and, and into the public that you will then get additional supplies so that we can continue to that process? It, that is uh, been some of the things that have been promised to Utah. Uh, they don't want vaccines sitting in freezers or refrigerators. So federal government says if you're getting it out, then they'll reprioritize vaccine to you. So 
Utah has done a really good job in the last month uh, moving up uh, moving up in, in the amount of right. doses administered and we're seeing more and more coming in. Well, thanks, Brian. It, yeah, thank we, you. we appreciate you. He was kind of impromptu. We didn't expect <laughs> to find him outside here with us. But Katie, Joy, thanks for, uh, for getting us together and, uh, You're welcome. and making this happen in, in, uh, in Farmington and wherever Farmington's mayor is. You know, thanks for letting us come down here without you. <laughs> thanks, so. Calvin. Hey, thanks, Calvin. <laughs> <laughs> this, is for, this is for all the mayors. That's right. Davis <laughs> County, we're going to get through this.